Hello and welcome to my workshop. I'm using my workstation already for quite some time inside our bedroom. And I've told a little bit about the background information of all this in my first video. Simply due to a lack of space, I was forced to develop this alternative way to make stuff at home. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to refer to one question which is coming up from time to time. And the question is, is it really safe what I'm doing here? And I'm not talking about the potential danger arising from an angry spouse. I'm talking about safety in terms of health risks arising from dust contamination. I mean, everybody who has a workshop knows what incredible mess is caused by a table saw. And this workstation here can be transformed into a table saw, into a router table, a jigsaw table, a drill station, I can install a small bell sender, and I have even made up a little jig in order to join the edges of work pieces. And I'm doing all this inside our bedroom. So let's monitor how big is actually the air pollution impact caused by all this using an air pollution monitor. This little device here is an air quality monitor, which is just perfect for usage as at home. It's a very simple device indicating three different states of air quality, fresh, unqualified and pollution. Here there are several values shown up and the relevant ones indicating the air quality are this one here, HCOC, which refers to formaldehyde and the PM 2.5 and the PM 10 values. Formaldehyde can be released into the air from composite wood products like particle boards, fiber boards, plywood, then coating and oil finishes and adhesive products can be formaldehyde sources as well. Formaldehyde contamination is a problem and long-term exposure to formaldehyde can cause serious disease like leukemia and cancers. Let me give you a short demonstration of what I'm talking about. We have here our air quality monitor. Everything is fine. I have three marker pens. I open them up. Move them a little bit around. And the formaldehyde value is rising up. PM2.5 is referring to dust particles which have a diameter of 2.5 micrometers or lower. PM2.5 exposure can have various short-term and serious long-term health impacts including cancers as they are believed to settle in the lower area of the lungs and can't be brought back up. PM10 is referring to dust particles which are bigger, up to a diameter of 10 micrometers, while the formaldehyde impact is more caused by the room interiors, like furniture, floor, the walls with all the coat and oil finishes. PM2.5 and PM10 pollution is exactly the kind of air contamination caused by woodworking with power tools. So these are the values we are going to focus now. I started out with the table saw, which is the tool of my workstation I use most frequently. I have never put my DIY activities inside our bedroom to such a test before and I had absolutely no idea what was going to happen. The machine is covered completely by the box below the table. The blade is covered by the dust collection hood. There are two shop vacs, one attached to the dust collection hood and the other is plugged into the box. I decided to cut work pieces of different dimensions, both soft and hardwood, in order to see whether it makes a difference. You might have noticed that the TVOC value here is changing quite a lot. 
TVOC stands for Total Volatile Organic Compounds and can be affected by many different things like alcohol, perfume, simply by anything that smells. So in this case there might have been certain VOC emissions by the wood during the cuts. Here TVOC is not a factor to judge the air quality. To be honest, I was kind of relieved when I saw that regardless what workpiece I was cutting, there was absolutely no negative impact at all on air quality. Nevertheless, at this point I started to get a little concerned if the air quality monitor was measuring correctly. So I decided to make an experiment with the miter saw. Well, I certainly expected a negative effect on air quality, but I did not expect that kind of pollution. I mean, there was a shop vac plugged in. Well, this experiment has shown me two things. First, the air quality monitor was measuring correctly. Second, it is no good idea to use a miter saw inside a building without wearing a mask. Right after the table saw, the next tool I use more often is the router table. The machine is sitting inside the box. A much wider dust collection hood comes into play, providing enough space to move under. Most of the times the setup involves somehow the fence and I can make use of both dust collection options from below and laterally through the fence as well. All in all a very confident setup, which I was sure will keep air quality inside the bedroom completely unaffected. And I was right on this. Well, after the positive results with the table saw and the router table, I felt confident enough to try out my luck with the tabletop bell sender. In this case, the machine is sitting on the tabletop covered by the white dust collection hood. There is some kind of downdraft dust collection and the second shop work can be directly plugged into the machine. Whether the setup would be sufficient or not, to be honest, at this point I wasn't sure. And I was even more relieved when I realized that even this setup of my workstation does not affect air quality. The next tool I wanted to try out was the jigsaw, making some huge cuts. I made up a super flexible blade guide for this setup. Everything fits under the white dust collection hood and with both dust collection options from above and below the table, the whole setup is sufficiently safe to keep air quality once again unaffected.
At the end I wanted to give the drill station setup a try. Well, during drilling of wood as long as your drill bits are sharp enough, fine dust pollution is not really an issue, which has been confirmed once again by the air quality monitor. The result was amazing. There are absolutely no significant negative health impacts at all, regardless of what work I'm going to do here. While working with a miter saw instead, even with the dust collector plugged in, inside the building leads to a massive air pollution. Thereby it makes a huge difference cutting soft or hard wood. The harder the wood, obviously the higher the amount of PM2.5 dust particles in the air. This brings me to the conclusion that as long as I'm going to use my equipment here inside the bedroom, I don't have to worry about any negative health impacts at all. While working with a miter saw, at least inside the building, you do definitely better wearing a mask. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Tiny Wood Workshop channel if you haven't yet. In this case, very important, please hit the bell icon. And see you in the next video.